Does MSG actually make you hungrier, and do we need to avoid MSG? When it comes to hunger, it does appear that MSG increases food intake at that given meal, but increases satiety after the meal, and has either no effect or a decrease in total caloric intake due to prolonged satiety after a meal. But with that out of the way, do we actually need to avoid MSG? MSG has an interesting story. Fear around MSG started in the 1960s, when a researcher wrote a letter to a magazine article claiming Chinese food made him feel uncomfortable and gave him headaches, calling it Chinese restaurant syndrome and blaming it on monosodium glutamate. And this study published in 1986 indicated that over 17 years of research has failed to reveal any harms of MSG or any relation of MSG to Chinese restaurant syndrome. Interestingly, recently an individual actually came out claiming he was the one that wrote the review and said that it all started with a semi-drunken bet. Regardless of how it started, what does the science say today? First of all, MSG is a naturally occurring compound found in things like caviar, cheese, seafood, salami, seaweed, cod, tomatoes, mushrooms, and even spinach, as well as being added to savory snacks. It was once claimed that MSG is a neurotoxin because one of the components of MSG, glutamate, is an excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. And people with ADHD and anxiety typically have higher levels of glutamate inside of their brain. But it's very well documented that MSG does not increase brain glutamate concentrations. And many studies have been done linking MSG to headaches and found no conclusive evidence of MSG increasing the risk of headaches. Additionally, they've done studies giving subjects 45,000 milligrams of MSG a day. Mind you that even in salty and processed foods, an individual may only consume about one gram per day or 1,000 milligrams. And the only side effect was nausea. And this is likely due to the fact that MSG does contain sodium. And large doses of sodium does increase risk of diarrhea and nausea. And this isn't anything special to MSG. MSG is one of the most well-studied and harmless molecules in the human body. And it occurs naturally in food. The only reason MSG is added to food is because it binds to a taste receptor and makes food taste better. In essence, it does the exact same thing as something like salt. Except the chloride is replaced with glutamate. And monosodium glutamate has been shown to be efficacious to decrease salt and sodium intake because it gives the same flavor as salt but does not have as much sodium. Moreover, the use of MSG can actually improve protein digestion by improving salivation and increasing the production of hydrochloric acid to digest and break down food, especially protein. And at the end of the day, MSG simply makes food taste better. But at physiological doses given to humans, there are no well-documented adverse effects of MSG other than increasing food intake at that given meal. However, this might be offset by the satiety promoting benefits of MSG. This isn't saying you need to actively use MSG on your food, but MSG is probably not a reason you need to avoid foods in general. And if you'd like an individualized approach to your lifestyle and nutrition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.